Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from Resident Culture Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called This Is Just A Test. It is a hazy IPA hopped with Citra, Sabro, and Mosaic. And it is 6.5 ABV. Um, this came out just today. So it's about as uh, fresh as you're going to get. Um, I've not had this. They had it on tap when I got it there today, but I didn't get it because I was uh, hitting up several places and I figured um, it wasn't worth getting on tap since I already had bought the cans because I, I buy them ahead of time on Crab Cellar because I trust that they're going to be good. So I usually just, if I go there, I try stuff that they don't can. Um, <clears throat> so this is much lighter of a beer than the other IPA they released today, the collaboration with um, uh, Heim Ranch. See, it's, uh, I mean, it's basically like a, a bright, darker straw color, pretty light. Um, it looks like light pineapple juice. The head was white, but it's pretty small. It is very, very um, hazy, though. Um, I was curious if I was going to get the Sabro because that is has a usually has a pretty pungent uh, coconut character. I do pick it up a little bit, but I would say if I didn't know it was in this, I don't know that I would get it. So it could just be a mental thing. I'm you know I'm just being completely honest. Um, I do think I do get it, but I I don't know a hundred percent if I didn't know it was in there that I would. There is some pineapple and a little bit of a, like a grassy character too. Wow. That's really nice. Uh, it's kind of a... Uh, just a little bit of a step back for most of the hoppy stuff that they do because uh, I mean I, I've said this with them I've said this with Dancing Gnome um, I said this with High Branch I mean honestly most breweries if they do single IPAs or triple IPAs they're on point double IPAs to me are usually just they're too overloaded with hops they basically have the hop rate of a triple IPA, but not enough malt or alcohol to handle it, and they're just a little bit too much. Uh, and then the single IPAs, you know, they have to scale it back a little bit because they know that it would just be too much. Uh, or this kind of falls into that realm. A nice little, like, piney lemon lime character which is interesting because I wouldn't really expect to get that from any of those hops but uh, and then it, it does fall into a little bit of coconut and a really nice like bready slightly doughy uh, malt bill just the body is very very light and easy to drink uh, to be honest, I think I like this better than the other one that they released today, the collaboration. And it's not, it has nothing to do with the fact that this is just resin culture and that was resin culture and high branch. Uh, it was just, I mean, this is actually a really good example of how different, um, I know the alcohol is different, but. How different IPAs can be because that one was just so freaking intense uh, I still really liked it because it had so much flavor that it, you could kind of um, ignore or accept all of the uh, intensity that it had but that's not something that I would want to drink more than one of in a night but this I could drink several of because it's it is it's not watery but it's just the body's very light um, the 
it has a good bit of flavor, but it's uh, not over the top. It's not very. It's not super bitter. Um, it's definitely dry and bitter, but it's not super bitter where I don't want to go back and drink it. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, like, this is the kind of hoppy stuff that I want. Um, you know, I, I gave that other one a really a good score because I think they did a really good job for what the market dictates. Uh, and generally, I try to be completely hedonistic on stuff based on my own likes, but sometimes I like the super aggressive stuff, so that's why I still said it was a buy. Uh, but this type of thing, I would drink this all the time. Um, like, I, I would drink several of these in, in one day, or just, if this was just an everyday drinker, I wouldn't mind having this stock in the fridge. I think this was like 17 bucks, maybe? Um, I don't know exactly what it cost, but this is uh, just a really nice, easy drinking IPA. You can probably tell by how quickly I'm drinking it too. The only, if there was a downfall of this, I would say the body is, uh, like I said, it's not watery, but it's not like soft or pillowy either. It's kind of, um, it almost seems like the water is working against the beer, which, you know, water profile is so important for IPAs and. I'm not saying that it's not letting like it definitely it definitely has a lot of flavor, but it's not super aromatic, and it just see, feels like hard water. I think if it, if this beer was like soft softer, it would be so much better than it is. I still really like it, and um, that yeah, I guess I'll go right into that. Like on my scale of buy drink dump, this is definitely a buy. Uh, I this is a really good everyday drinking IPA. Uh, but you know, I like to nitpick any, anything about a beer that I think can make it better. And that's definitely one thing that I for sure think would make this better is if, uh, they just change the, uh, the body a little bit or the, the water profile or something to make it a little softer. Cause it's just, uh, <clears throat> it almost seems, um, maybe even like under carbonated. I'm not sure. Uh, but it is definitely a tasty, tasty beer. But that's uh, that's all I got on this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.